This is lesson six, box and whisker plot. And so what we need to remember about a box and whisker plot is we need to get the five number summary, right? We have to put the numbers into the list. So you hit stat, you go to edit, put the numbers into the list, and then you go to stat and calc, and it's always one bar stats, okay? All right. So just a refresher about um, what this means. So if you have a set of numbers, right, uh, whatever it is, um, and we're going to go ahead and figure out what the box and whisker plot is, right? So what this means is here, the min and the max is our whiskers. Our Q1 to our Q3 is our box. The median is the number, right? That's the box right in the middle. Um, and then you connect this with the whiskers okay so you could say like this is our box part and these are our whiskers okay uh, whiskers you get the point all right um, so usually when we have an outlier we represent them by using a cross so if our that's our outlier right and remember our outlier formulas are q1 minus 1.5 times our IQR and our Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR. Uh, we've done this a lot at this point, uh, so we represent them by our X's, okay? So, boop. Um, our range is our max minus our min. That is different than our intraquartile range, right? So our IQR is going to equal Q3 minus Q1. Um, again, we've been doing that a lot, and the word symmetry just means that you have, here's our median, so our median and our mean are equal or just about equal, right? So if we have our median and our mean about the same, uh, then they are symmetrical, all right? Uh, this is just a refresher about how to plug it into the calculator. So we're going to go ahead and do an actual problem, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our calculator, plug these numbers in to stat edit. Refreshing your memory, stat, you go to option number one, which is edit, and this is where you put the numbers in. So our top numbers are L1, our bottom numbers are going to be L2. So the students are L1 and our frequency is L2. All righty, just like that. And now we want our calculator to actually calculate. So we're going to hit stat. We're going to go to the right arrow one. Um, option number one, we're always going to use one bar stats. Since we have a frequency list, we have to go to our FREQ list and hit second two. So that'll put our L2 there. And then we go to calculate and hit enter. Um, so now this will give us a bunch of things, right? So our mean is 36.3. So let's go ahead and write that down. Our mean is 36.3. And then for our five number summary, we need these numbers at the bottom right here. So we need our min is 33. Let's write that down. Our min is equal to 33. Next thing we have is our... Q1 is 35, our median is 36, so Q1 equals 35, our median is equal to 36, and this does look symmetrical because our median and our mean are just about the same, our Q3 we need, and our max we need for our five finger, our five number summary, uh, so our Q3 is 37, and our max is 40. All right, cool. So now that we have this, right, we can answer our question. So what is our median, right? Our median is 36, 36 students. What is our average number? That's the same thing as our mean. So this is 36.3. Good, I rounded it to three significant figures. Interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. So that is going to be Q3, 37 minus 35. 37 minus 35 is equal to 2 is our intraquartile range. And now, right, so just by doing the five number summary, uh, it's worth plugging those numbers in because now all I have to do is draw the box and whisker plot. So our min is 33, and right here is where we're putting our line, straight line, right? Let me try to make it as straight as possible. Our Q1 is 35, that is where our box starts. All right, goes to 37, that is where our box ends. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and draw that part. Tool. Our median is 36. Boom. And our max is 40. All right. So now I'm just going to connect this into as straight a line as I can. Let me just uh, do, 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 do that one a little bit better. All right. All right. Boom. So there is my answers, right? Min goes here. Q1 goes there. Our median goes here. Our Q3 is here. And our max is here. All right. Um, so that is where we stand for each of them. And so we are done. Now it is time to do some independent practice. So this is a throwback on cumulative frequency. Um, and I do want you to do a box and whisker plot for that set of data. Uh, these are some more questions, right? So go ahead and try these questions and check your work uh, with me. All right, four questions. Not bad. All right, good luck.